over the past really couple years, uh, this whole idea and law that the government is not allowed to have a registry has kind of gone by the wayside uh, because they are definitely tracking us. Uh, there is, should be no doubt in your mind that the government is really poking into ways to track the guns and ammo that you're buying. So I wanna take a moment and give what I believe to be the top five best tips for making sure the government is not tracking you when you buy guns and ammo. Now, I also wanna say that obviously there's gonna be other things involved here and uh, maybe there's not a way uh, to eliminate it completely, but uh, at least this lowers the possibility of what it is they actually know about your guns and ammo. So here's your top five tips for making sure the government does not track the guns and ammo that you're buying. Number one, don't ever scan your ID when you're buying ammo specifically because, uh, you know, there's a lot of ammo vending machines out there where they scan your ID. Um, there's also a lot of facilities that require scanning your ID. Uh, don't go to those places. If they need to scan your ID to buy guns and ammo, you're in the wrong place. Number two, don't use facial recognition. Now, this kind of seems like a no-brainer. Um, I've never been to a guns and ammo store where they needed some sort of facial recognition. But again, we're going to go back to those vending machines. A lot of them, after they scan your ID, they're doing facial recognition. And then all that is logged into a system. So under no circumstances, don't stand, stand there and pose for the facial recognition. Just don't do it. Uh, again, if, if wherever you're buying ammo requires <laughs> facial recognition, go to a different place. And I'm going to kind of tell you where to go at the end, uh, kind of more of a sixth tip. <laughs> Number three, don't use digital background checks. Now, this is being logged uh, by the ATF. So, um, unfortunately I've fallen into that, not realizing it, where you go to a gun store and you pick out a gun and they say, oh, here, just fill it out on this laptop here. And, and I just kind of go along with it. Uh, not anymore. Don't do that because that is going into the NIC system. Um, and that is definitely being logged by the ATF. Now, the paper ones are so much more safe because the paper application, the paper background checks are significantly safer simply because those are kept at the gun shop. And as long as that gun shop is in business, those are going to stay there. Um, and even if they go out of business, it's just going to go into the giant warehouse of boxes of documents, millions and millions of these just to be lost. Um, some of those facilities that the ATF has for these paper documents kind of look like the last scene of Raiders Lost Ark. It's not going to be found. Number four, don't use credit cards. This is the biggest one, simply because Visa, MasterCard, and Discover are all using a red flag system now. Uh, gun stores have a different code. If I go in a gun store and I buy a couple thousand rounds of ammo and swipe my MasterCard, they're going to red flag me, and then they're going to send it to my local sheriff. And if you don't think it happens... In 2022 alone, there were 5.1 million red flag alerts sent to sheriffs throughout this country. And if you're leaning on it, you know, you might say, well, my local sheriff, he would never do that. He'd never turn that red flag over to the ATF. You're just one election away from having a different sheriff, by the way, as well as many of us live in counties with crooked sheriffs. So, just keep that in mind that don't use your credit card. Just, you know, use cash. It's just as good as money. And finally, number five, don't say crazy stuff online and on social media to draw attention of the FBI because uh, ever since January 6th, they're doing it. You got to know that they're they're tracking it heavily. Now, they were obviously doing it before that, but after after that, it, it, it's a big deal. 
you know, if you're saying crazy stuff online about your guns and ammo, uh, they're probably gonna know. Uh, so there you go, there's your top five. Don't scan your ID, don't use facial recognition, don't do digital background checks, don't use credit cards, and don't say crazy stuff online. And I wanna just kind of say them all there at the end because there's a, there's a trend here. It's all online. <laughs> When you're buying guns and ammo, stay offline. Now, uh, a lot of you bring up the concept of, of ordering guns online, but those get shipped to your local um, FFL. So that's not part of that whole system. Um, so uh, the place I'm gonna recommend you do go is just a mom and pop gun shop where they, you know, they just use a paper background check. You can give them cash. Um, maybe you can trust them because you know them well. But that's what I'm gonna recommend. That's the best way you have to avoid any sort of tracking by the government is just to make sure that uh, these online things, uh, just stay away from them. When you're buying guns and ammo, just simply stay away from them. It's really not that complicated. So again, don't scan your ID. Don't use facial recognition. Don't use digital background checks. Don't use credit cards. And don't say crazy stuff online. So. Uh, any thoughts or insight on any of this, definitely put it below. Um, I, you know, I know there's obviously little cracks and errors in my ways when I talk about this, this particular subject, but anything you can do to, to lower the chances of that sort of thing happen is definitely going to be for the better. And I strongly believe that if, as long as you're staying offline, just at no point using any sort of digital footprint, uh, when you're buying guns and ammo, the better. So any thoughts or insight, especially that insight, definitely put it below. I do want to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. Uh, so don't ever hesitate to send that in. This channel, it is a ministry to me. Um, I've had people from all over this country say that they came for the guns and they got God. And that's really what it's all about. So truly, I'm a praying man. Never hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.